Well, joined now by Pat Dolan. And Pat, I suppose a lot of talk and speculation about what's going on at Cork City at the moment. Uh, what's your take on the whole thing? Yeah, training's going really, really well. The players are in tremendous shape. Uh, they really came back. Um, they took the opportunity, kept themselves in fantastic shape. So, you know, they've made a, a little bit of a stand, and I saw what the players said. And what I saw was a lot of honesty. And uh, I think honesty always has to be admired. But, uh, you know, I don't think it's a time for me uh, to be saying too much. I've said a, a lot of things in the two years that I've been down here. Um, I've been very conscious of not just obviously trying to uh, be successful myself as a manager, but also to be part of a club that really can be up there competing with the very, very, very best. And it's been interesting to, to see what the players have said. And, you know, I believe it's only honesty. That, that's what will help the cause. And you see the PR and you see people coming in and the politics, but, you know, I'm not part of that. Because at the end of the day, here on, you know, it's not about personality. It's not about ego. It's not about power. It's about progress. As you say, Pat, the players came out and they were very honest and standing together. And I think that's something that Brian Lennox himself admired. He said he it showed great ba- backbone from the players. And uh, he was just a bit, I suppose, annoyed at the way they went about airing their views. Yeah, well, you know, I can't speak for anybody else. All I can speak about is the consistency of the message that I've had. We've had a fantastic um, two years. And, you know, I'd just like to pay my tribute. As I said, you know, the internal politics of the club and what people want to say in newspapers and the PR... It's not really my responsibility. Um, I think anybody that uh, really cares about the future of football in Cork, they'll really admire the stand that that the players have have taken. They will support it fully. So there shouldn't be any problems then, Kieran, should there? You know, if that's that's the case. And I said, it's not really time for me to be saying too much because, you know, at times I'm taking three sessions a day and, you know, the training's going really, really well and the same players that, you know, home and away, wins against Malmo, brought great, great times. They're just fantastic people. And uh, I'll talk to the players, and you know, if they feel they need me to, to say something, of course I will. But, you know, that's really up to them. So. Pat, one final question. I know you're in a rush there. Um, there's been a lot of speculation coming out of this. This seems to be an issue between players and chairman, but a lot of people are making more of this, and they're saying it's an issue between you and the chairman. And there's speculation that you're ready to resign. There's speculation he's ready to sack you. It's all, all different talk that's coming out. What do you know about that? Well, I know for definite, one thing for definite, that Ireland beat England in rugby today. Wasn't that absolutely fantastic, you know? And I tell you what, I see the way those Irish boys prepare now. I had lunch with Ron Nagara there a couple of weeks ago, and uh, they're due to the RFU. 